Hare Krishna. Oh my God. Got it. Hare Krishna. Now I can see the main screen. Hare Krishna Mataji. Welcome. Hare Krishna Mataji. Co host Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Rayanan Sadhu. Sam Smriti. April. Monica. OV. Nice to see you all. Uh, Hare Krishna, may I know who is this April? I am not sure. There was there in the kid was there even in the other other call. Hare Krishna, who is this? Okay, they left. Sorry, that's my mom's name. Oh, Kartik. Okay. 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 okay, okay. See, because this Zoom, right? Bad people join, so I want to make sure because they were there in the other call too. Thank you, thank you. Please come with your own names. Okay, so we can start. Okay, <clears throat> so let's do the prayers and chanting and then we can get started. Thank you all for joining. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Itinamini Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Sunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasadi Gaurabhakta Vrindam Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So who's going to chant 21 times? Oh, what does he, I can do it. Yes, Monica. Okay, so we will all chant with you on mute. So do it with focus and attention and devotion. Okay, 21 times. Okay. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Thank you so much, Monica. 
wonderful chanting. So, thank you all very much for joining. <coughs> okay. So, we are not a lot today. Do you remember what we did the last the class? Anyone remembers? Um, Mataji, um, I don't remember what we did for the main part, but I remember the uh, group task. Basically, we were doing it about the Ramayana, and um, group one had to do the qualities of Ayodhya and like the glories of Ayodhya, and group yes. two, uh, the updates about the Ram Mandir. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so today we are going to continue the same theme because we saw how it was so wonderful. We saw that the installation had happened and lots of festivities going on. So we will continue. This week also we'll dedicate thinking about Lord Ramachandra. So the icebreaker is... Please share one point about the recent opening of the temple in Ayodhya. So we don't um, uh, repeat what the others have said, but you can share either a, a statistical data or the history of the temple or who came and how it was done, something, okay, about the opening of the temple in Ayodhya. Yes, Aishwarya. Um, Hare Krishna. Uh, Mataji, your voice is unclear. My voice is unclear? I have a point. Though. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, we we can hear you, but it's like it was a little unclear. Maybe maybe it was on my end. Okay, how is it now? Yeah, it's better. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, can you explain? Uh, I mean, can you share your, share your point? Yes, <coughs> I um I heard that sculptor who sculpted the idol of Ram Ram Lala, he also sculpted um. Srila Srila Prabhupada's deity in in one of the ISKCONs nearby. Temples. Okay, thank you. That's a valid point. Thank you, Ashwarya. Okay, Smriti. Let's hear from Smriti. So Mataji, I'm not sure if this is exactly true, but I heard that there was more than eighty flights that came to the Ayodhya airport just because all of those people wanted to be there for the inauguration of the temple. 80 flights. Yes. Huh. Okay. Thank you, Smriti. Chinmayi? Yes, Mataji. So I think, um, like, uh, I know a little about how the temple initiated. Um, so, like, it seems there used to be a Ram temple there before. Mm -hmm. Later, uh, like, when kings, like, Muslim kings came, they like they destroyed the construction of the temple and they built a masjid and then after now like in 2017 the masjid has like worn out and then when they were clearing out the area they found a few rama vigrahas and then yeah. there was a case in the court in 2017 and then Later, the um, Modi ji, uh, he started uh, the construction and now it has opened. Very nice. Thank you, Chinmayi, <coughs> for that so many, for that interesting fact. So, yes, uh, Monica, before that, I would like everybody else to share at least one point. <coughs> Ovi, Prahla, Karthik. Uh, two okay, yeah, Monica, you can go ahead. Uh, uh, I, I think I heard this that before construction, before construction of the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya, 
they fought 500 in this 501 years to build that mandir there. Hmm. They had to wait, yeah. <clears throat> the original temple was destroyed in the 16th century. <clears throat> so it was like 500 years later, this temple is built. Thank you, Monica. Yes, Prahlad. Um, this this temple is like um, it's like uh, it cost like one thousand eight hundred crores, which is like one thousand, which is like um, one crore is like ten ten million, so it's like like a lot, and it has an overall area of seventy one acres. Um, overall seven, area of seventy one acres. Uh huh. Which is like. Which is like um, like probably the size of the town Harrisburg. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Ralan. <clears throat> Anything else, Ovi, Karthik? Would you like to share any point? Uh, okay. <clears throat> So we had we heard so many nice things and there are much 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 more facts. Rahla, do you want to share one more point? You have raised your hand. Okay. Um, okay, so Ovi and Karthik, do you want to share anything? Um, Matuchi, um, uh, what I was about to share, Chin may already share. Oh, okay. Uh, no problem. And uh, who else? Uh, um, Karthik, you have anything to share? I don't know much about the temple. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Thank you. So <clears throat> this wasn't recent news. You know, you just Google Ayodhya temple installation, Sri Ram temple installation, India, then you'll get lo lots of points about that. Okay, so let's see what happened and how <clears throat> Bharat, uh, when Rama returned to Ayodhya, uh, how he was, uh, how he was welcomed. Okay, so these are the texts from Bhagavatam. Text thirty nine forty. Um, Karthik, do you want to read? If you're free, or anyone who's free. Okay. Yeah, Karthik, go ahead. After offering the wooden shoes before Lord Ramachandra. Lord Bharata stood with both hands, his eyes full of tears, and Lord Ramachandra bathed Bharata with tears while embracing him with both arms for a long time. Accompanied by Mother Sita and Lakshmana, Lord Ramachandra then offered his respectful obeisances unto the learned Brahmanas and the elderly persons in the family, and all the citizens of Ayodhya offered their respectful obeisances unto the Lord. Thank you so much. So, what is this wooden shoes that Bharata is uh, bringing. Who can share about that? Mother, you can repeat the question. So here we mention, uh, it's mentioned that after offering the wooden shoes before Lord Ramachandra, Lord Bharata stood with folded hands. So what's the history of the wooden shoes? So when um Lord in the beginning of the story when Rama first went to the forest, Lord Bharata came to get him back and then he said that I will not rule, but these shoes will be, be there to rule as a presence of you and I will just simply stand there and watch over. So that's how um Lord Bharata came in possession of Rama. Very good, Smriti, yes. You see, Lord Ramachandra is non different from his shoes because anything that's connected with the Lord is completely spiritual. And so he was 
uh, ruling on behalf of, of Lord Ramachandra's wooden shoes. <coughs> so, sorry. so, why did they embrace for each other for a long time? Want every morning. Okay, Monica. Monica? What did you know about the question? Okay, why did they embrace for a long time? Because Monica knew that the Lord Ram was supposed to be the king and then Mother Kaki all of a sudden said to, uh, sent him to exile and Bharat was about to be king and then Bharat said he didn't want to be king so they embraced the, 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 so they embraced for a long time because they miss each other in 14 years of exile. Wonderful Monica, wonderful, yes. Aishwarya, you want to say anything else? Uh, no, Mataji. I was um, raising my hand to answer too. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to? So, so we saw that how Lord Ramachandra <laughs> is embracing Bharata, and they mo both missed each other for a long time. And then <laughs> he offered his obeisances. Although he's a supreme lord, what is he doing? He offered his obeisances to learned brahmanas and elderly persons in the family. And then all the citizens of Ayodhya offered their respectful obeisances unto the Lord. <laughs> okay. So, Aishwarya, would you like to read 41? Yes, Mataji. Text 41. The citizens of Ayodhya Upon seeing their king return after a long absence, offered him flowered garlands, waved their upper cloths, and danced in great jubilation. Right. So, thank you. So the whole Ayodhya was in festive mood because they're in they're seeing the Lord after a long absence. Okay, Karthik, you had a question. Uh, yes, Mataji. I was just wondering. Um, was the Ramayan pastime before the Mahabharata? Yes. Okay. The, Ra the Ramayan was in the previous yuga, Treta yuga, and Mahabharata was in the next yuga, Dwapara yuga. Thank you. Thank you, Kartik. Okay. Uh, text 42 43. Ovi, would you like to read? Um, sure, Mataji. W which one do I need to read? 42-43. Okay. O King Bharata, O King, Lord Bharata carried the Lord Ramachandra's wooden shoes. Sugriva and Vibhishan carried a whisk and an excellent fan. Hanuman carried a white umbrella. Shatrugan carried a bow and two quivers. And Sita Devi carried a water pot filled with water from holy places. Angada carried a sword. And Jambavan, king of the Rakshas, carried a gold, golden shield. Thank you, Ovi. So who is... Uh, we will take turns to answer. Who is Sukriva? Each one answer one uh, about one... Um, personality. Who is Sugriva? Ovi, yeah. Would you like to answer? Um, Sugriva, oh. he, um, oh, are we talking about who is Sugriva? No. Yeah, because your voice has been kind of glitchy. Um, Mataji, your video is glitching. Okay, let me let me turn off my video and see if the voice is getting better. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little better. Um, okay. Sugriva is the king of the Vanas, like the monkeys. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he helped Ramachandra find Sita. Thank you, Ovi. Vibhishan, who is Vibhishana? Uh, another Karthik, yes. 
Vibhishan is um, Ravan's brother, right? Ah, right. But how is it? How was it different from Ravan? He surrendered at the feet of Lord Ram. He left all his family, all his riches, just came with a few friends and surrendered at the feet of Ram to help him. Very nice. Okay. Who's Hanuman's? Who was Hanuman's parents? Okay, this may be a Aishwarya. Um, so his um his mother was Anjana, mm. and his earthly father his earthly father was Kesari, and mm. he was born through the mercy of uh, Vayu, the wind god. Wonderful, Aishwarya, wonderful. And congratulations, Aishwarya, on being selected for the national finals in the spelling bee. Uh, we're very proud of you. For the national finals, yeah. This is another national spelling bee. It's a smaller one. Oh, okay. Anyway, all the best. It's not so easy to be selected <coughs> to be in the national level. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank okay. You, okay, so who can say who is Shatrugna? Uh, Smriti, yes. So Shatrugna was one of um Rama's half blood half brothers, and she was he was Lakshmana's twin, and he was also very devoted to Bharata. As like Lakshmana was very devoted to Rama, but mm. only he was there with Rama in the end. Wonderful, Smriti, great answer. Okay, and who is Angada? Those uh, one who has not answered so far. Would you like to try? <clears throat> Ovi, yes. Did you already answer Ovi? Yes, Mataji. Okay. So let's wait uh, and give chance to others who have not answered so far. Chinmayi, yes. Uh, Vali Sun. Vali Sun, Angada. Okay. Thank you. And uh, who's uh, Jambavan? Who has not answered so far? Pralad? Yes, are you, are you there? Yes. Who is Jambavan? Uh, he's like the, um, he's like, uh, Rama's, uh, like, he's like, Jambavan is Rama's, um, like, he, like, helped him in the war against Ravana, and, um, and in, and in Kishkinda, when he's the one who advised Hanuman to go and rescue uh, and see on the rescue mission to Lanka. Very nice. Okay. Jambavan was a bear, right? Thank you. Aishwarya? Um, Mataji, I have a fact to share about Jambavan. Mm -hmm. Um. Jambavan was like one of the very, very first people, um, like in the material world. He was born when Brahma was doing the Pasya, I think, and mm -hmm. he was born as soon as Brahma yawned. So um, I heard somewhere that he's three days older than the earth. Three days older than the earth. Okay. Thank you, Aishwarya. Yes, that's very true. Okay, text 44. Uh, who can read? Uh, Smriti, can you read? Yes, Mataji. Oh, King Bhikshit, as the Lord sat on his airplane of flowers with women offering him, him prayers and reciters chanting about his characteristics, he appeared like the moon with the stars and planets. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. So this is a beautiful description. The Lord sat on his airplane of flowers. So everyone is offering. <clears throat> so he's uh, so he looks he looked like a moon. Yeah, we can imagine, right? 
Okay, text 45, 46. Uh, who can read? Chinmayi, would you like to read? Yes, Mataji. Thereafter, having been welcomed by his brother Varata, Lord Ramachandra entered the city of Ayodhya to all the mothers, including Kaiki and uh, the other wives of Maharaj. Lord Dasha. Ramachandra entered the city of Ayodhya in the midst of a festival. Okay. Okay. When he entered the palace, he offered obeisances to all the mothers, including Kaiki and the other wives of Maharaja Dasharatha, and especially his own mother, Kausalya. He also offered obeisances to the spiritual uh, preceptors, such as Vasishta, Vasishta, friends of his own age and younger friends worshipped him. And he returned the, their respectful obeisances, as did Lakshmana and Mother Sita. In this way, they all entered the palace. Yes. So <clears throat> we can see that how he entered the Ayodhya was in the festival mood, and he entered the palace, and he offered his obeisances to all the mothers. Right? Kaikeyi. Who are the three uh, wives of Dasaratha? Who can Kausalya. say? Yes. Yes, Chan, yes, Chinmay. Go ahead. Kausalya, Sumatra, Kaike. Very good. Yes. So, in these three, who was uh, instrumental in Lord Ramachandra going to the forest? Kaike. Kaike. Uh, can you tell me how Kaike? Was instrumental? Anyone? Can you repeat that? So how did Mother Kaikeyi uh, send Lord Ramachandra to the forest? Can I answer? Yes, Monica. So Mother Kaikeyi sent Lord Ram to exile. Okay. Exile because many years, many years before, um, Mother, oh, I mean, Kaikai served Maharaj Dashar and then Maharaj Dashar promised Kaikai Kai Kai two boons and then she used the boons to send Lord Ram to exile and make mm -hmm. Bharat son. I mean, make, the, make Bharat king. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, so she gave, she used the boons and Dasharatha had to do that. Yeah. Chinmayi? I think she was mainly influenced by Mantra. Mm, that's true. So she was influenced by Mantra. In fact, she was very happy. But Mantra, uh, why did Mantra influence Kaiki like that? Ovi? It's because... um. Basically, Mantra, she took care of Kaikai since Kaikai was a baby. And she only, like, I don't know what's the proper terms, but I think they say it's like the apple in the eye or something. Like, she always wanted Bharat to do this. She's like, oh, my God, I'm um, I'm so happy. Bharat is coming back. Bharat, Bharat, Bharat. And she was, like, all focused on Bharat. And then... So she um poisoned Kaikai like against Ram. So then Kaikai would do stuff and make Bharat the um mm. king. Thank you, Ovi. Right. Because <clears throat> she was the uh, maid of Kaikai and she thought if Bharat is the becomes the king and Kaikai becomes the queen mother, then she can get a better position among all maids. So that was her silly calculation. So this is how, I mean, when we put ourselves in the center, then that is materialistic life. When we put Krishna in the center, then that is spiritual life. Okay, so thank you all very much. We did a nice recap of welcoming Lord Rama. Now we will do the group task. So team one, 
which will be in the main room, will do this. Lessons from the life of Bharata. So you can quote the pastimes of Bharata also. Means the qualities of Bharata and what we learn from uh, different pastimes of Bharata in the whole of Ramayana. Okay. Team 2 will do, <coughs> will quote the pastimes of Lakshmana and also along with that the lessons, what we learn from Lakshmana. Okay, so let me do the breakout room. Okay, so we are only uh, one more. Okay, myself and Vinita Mataji and then you are seven. Okay, so I'm assigning three of you. Okay. To room one and then uh, I have to do four and three. So Aishwarya, Chinmay and Karthik will join room one. And in the main room, we'll have Monika, Ovi, Prahlad and Smriti. So you guys in the main room would do lessons from the life of Bharata. So you have four. Each one tell one pastime of Bharata and what is the lesson that you learned from it. Okay. Are you ready? Am I audible? Yes, Mataji. Okay. Who's going to create the documents? Oh, you said. Send you somebody in the chat. Okay, sure. Wait, I already typed lessons to learn when I was playing. I don't know who's typing it again. So are you guys okay? So Smriti, Monika, Ovi and Prahlad. So each one uh, bring about one pastime of Bharata and the lesson that you learned from that. Okay. Can, okay. So the first lesson I think is humility. Because like you put humility. I think humble and humility. Yeah. And then, wait, what? Can everybody like... Can the person who's in, like who's like doing the title? Can they like stop doing the title? Cause, cause, like it's fine.
Wait for whoever. We can do the title last, guys. We don't have to do it now. That's not the most important thing in the world. Um, can I do humility? Whoever is doing humility. Yeah, can whoever is doing the title, like, stop doing the title? Sorry, but, like, maybe we can do it a bit later. Can I do humility? Whoever is yeah. doing humility? Wait, who's doing oh. humility? Um. So for each uh, um, each uh, quality or each lesson, you can quote a pastime and make sure that you have different pastimes, okay? Um, so can I do detachment? So, because I already started detachment. Um. Uh, is the pastime for humility, is it like just uh, the first... When you get when you got exiled, we have about like one person work on each quality so that we don't have much confusion. Yeah, that's right. Like each person take one quality and one pastime, then you can do that. See, for example, <laughs> how Bharata uh, reacted to when his mother said that you are the king, and then one person can do how he went to Lord Ram and requested him to come back and the other can do how he was ruling and then uh, you know the other can do like how he uh, felt when he met Lord Ram and what we uh, learned from that. Guys, you don't have much time, maybe another three more minutes. You need any help? <laughs> um, I think we're good enough with you. Okay. Also, since I'm doing humility, can I read like the humility yeah. one? You guys, whoever's doing that one, can they can read that that Also, if you don't want to uh, write and read, you can also recite, uh, you can also tell the pastime and then, I mean, you can write the pastime in brief and then tell it out also. It's, uh, if you don't, if you don't want to write everything and it's uh, a little elaborate. Also, um, who's doing detachment? Um, I am, I'm doing detachment. Okay. We can just color code it later. We don't have to put the names beside it. We can just remember that color.
All right, you guys, we need two more because there's um, four people here. So, Brahalab and Monica, can you guys do to find two more things that we can ha add? Wait, are you presenting him already? No, big notes. Okay. So let me uh, let me go there and check, and then we can. We're, you're all done, almost. I think. Can Can you remove the like the what the uh, the text below mine? Wait. Okay. One second. And nobody change anything. Uh, who who inserted the uh the the one the text right below mine? Wait. What? Someone that's, like inserted. I think that's Monica. All right, we can just do it like that. All right, Prahalad, and make sure you put that. Oh yeah, we're supposed to um the other I mean the other group is writing about Lakshman's qualities, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so are you all done or you want one more minute exactly? Um, can we have one more minute, Matsushi? Okay, okay. Okay, um, Prahala, it's fine if you don't like type everything inside because I don't think we'll be able to have time to type everything in. So you can just say whatever you want to say out loud.
no but bharata got angry right with kaikeyi oh yeah he 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 got he was like he um wish at before we shot yeah mataji yeah. wrote that down i think prahlad was writing that bharata got angry with kaiki bharata was not happy right so if you want to write tolerance then you can uh, you can write how bharata was uh, uh, t- tolerating difficulties when he was living in 14 years okay when he was he was living underground he was also he was tolerant because when he was he he could have just ordered because he is king he could have just ordered rama to come back but he was tolerant and patient and he waited for the four years of separation from his lord 14 yeah 14 years and then he was sleeping he because rama would sleep on the ground so he wanted to sleep underground with on a bare mat right and he you know what his food was you can no. you can google that what did bharata eat when he when lord ramachandra was in exile Fruits, fruits. What did Bharata eat? Not what La- Lord Rama ate. So I said, what did Bharata eat when Rama was in exile? That's it. It just says what Rama ate, not what Bharata ate. But according to um, Veda, um, it says that he would only eat fruits and roots. Okay, yeah, you can mention that. Yeah, I mentioned I already my question. Okay, okay. So let's close the breakout rooms, and then. so while they are all coming in you can get ready to present okay this my baby okay so are you already group 1 yes mataji okay let them come in in a few seconds and then you can first to start presenting then they can present Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Group one. Okay. Right. So these are some lessons we learned from the life of Bart. Obi. Hello. Ovi, are you there? Okay, Smriti, you can go ahead. Okay, I'll just yes, Mataji. Oh, yeah, go okay. ahead. Okay. Okay. Sorry, the meeting was taking like the button went short. 
um, humility. Bharata is so humble that he didn't want to come back. He didn't want the vast kingdom of Ay Ayodhya, and he begged Ram to come back. When Ram said no, he took Ram's Ram, he took Ram's slippers and put it on his head and placed it on the throne. He also swore that he would live in a straw hut till Ram came back. Bharata is so devoted to Ram that he slept in a hole so he'd be lower than Ram. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ovi. Okay, next, Smriti. So, Lord Bharata was also detached. Lord Bharata was also detached. Because he is this prince and he has all these things he has a palace he can order anyone to do whatever he wants he can even like he can if he wants jewels if he wants this he can have it so but when he met guru and learned that <laughs> was surviving on water fruits and nuts and um, he also started wearing the matted locks and sleeping on the bare floor and surviving on little food and even though he had this entire kingdom he gave it up and he asked Lord Balaam to come back and he wouldn't rule the kingdom per se until Lord Rama was back. And this is a quote from um, database. From this day, I shall wear matted locks and tree bark. I shall lay upon the bare earth to sleep and shall eat only simple forest fare. From database chapter four. Thank you, Smriti. Oh. That was good. So... Um, Bharata was really tolerant because Bharata was tolerant for 14 years when he was like sleeping underground on a bare mat and he only ate roots and fruits from the forest around him. He also he did have to do this, but he but because Rama was doing it and he was like and because he was so devoted to Rama, he did this. Um, he also never complained about it after, he was always like, um, always happy that Rama came back and he was um, never in a grudging mood. Thank you, Pralad. Okay, who's the last one? I think it's Monica Mataji. Monica, okay. Monica was the son of Rashad and Sarkar. Like his mother, he was very skilled in the war, in warrior and exceptionally thoughtful. He, he was extremely angry when he heard that Kaikai forced the to make him the him him the next king, not Ram. From that day on, he was he was sad to be separated from Ram and ate fruits and fruits and nuts and slept on the ground. Mm. Thank you, Monica. Wonderful. Almost everyone to have everyone repeated the same point almost like but you brought out different qualities of that that's so nice thank you okay now group two hey krishna mataji um one second can everybody see my screen Oh, it says it's loading. Yeah, no. Um, yes. Um, okay. Shall I start? Yes, go ahead. Lessons from Lakshman. Uh, Lakshmana played a very good role in the Ramayana. And these are a few uh, facts and lessons we learned from him. Lakshman gazed at the jewels and replied to Rama, I do not recognize the armlet, armlets or earrings, for I have never looked at the face or body of the princess, but I recognize the anklets, which I saw each day as I bowed at her feet. Ramayana retold by Krishna Dharmadasa, Part 2, Chapter 11. So this tells us, uh, the service and submissive, uh, Laksh how submissive Lakshman was. He viewed Sita as his mother and never denied to look at her. He only, uh, he, uh, he only looked at her feet and that was only because he repeatedly offered her obeisances every day. He always viewed Rama and Sita as his parents, quite unlike the brothers of today. <laughs> That's so nice, Chinmayi. Very good. 
Hi, Krishna. So Lakshmana is a good example of how best to serve the Lord through thick and thin. He didn't balk at the idea of going into the wild forest and remain devoted to the Lord. Even though he became very angry at anyone who wronged Rama, he did the extremely difficult task of controlling his emotions and remaining passive simply to please Rama. Very beautiful, Aishwarya. Thank you. That's that's a wonderful quality of Lakshman. Hi, Krishna. Lakshman always assisted the Lord and he never envied the Lord for all the glory and fame he had. He was always glad to serve the Lord and got pleasure only from serving. That's wonderful, Karthik. Thank you. Okay, the rest. Uh, can we? I think you're next. Okay, I could read that. Lakshmana reincarnated as Balaram and Lord Nityananda. He remained ever faithful to the Lord. He had two sons, Angada and Chandra Ketu. He is married to Sita's sister. Okay, good job, everyone. You did a great job. Uh, all the kids, both. We, uh, we learned uh, very uh, nice points from Ramayan and then nice lessons from the life of Bharata and Lakshmana. There's so much for us to follow in daily life, isn't it? Okay, so the summary is, let's be inspired to be the servant of the servant of the Lord. Right? So that's what they wear. And let's beg their blessings so that we can also become the Lord's servant servant. Okay. So th any questions? Anybody has any questions? Okay, otherwise, thank you all very much. Nice seeing you today. And see you again next week, Krishna willing. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Hare Krishna. Thank you, everyone. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Thank you.